Hi everyone, Mike here from Play On Ready. I'm doing another FIFA 19 review. This time it's a third in form our uh, Leipzig striker Yusef Poulsen. Uh, got, he's got 10 games played and 12 goals with, uh, with 4 assists. He played up front in a 2 up top formation alongside his teammate Timo Werner. And 12 goals, 10 games in a in a, an up front where another striker is also getting chances and getting goals as well. I think it's a pretty, pretty good return. Of course, I bought him 110k, he's now worth about 105, 106 at the time of this recording. So going into his stats, he's got 84 acceleration, 89 positioning, 19 uh, sprint speed, sorry, 99 positioning, 89 finishing, 92 shot pound, 88 volleys. So very very tidy in and around the area. He's got 81 crossing, which I didn't really get to use. 87 short pass is quite good. His vision's not great, but when you're doing short passes to say Werner or another or attacking midfielder coming in from coming in from deep, then he can set up chances as well, and it does it is is very very useful. Uh, 87 agility isn't bad. 91 reactions is good. 87 dribbling, didn't really dribble with him much, I wanted him inside the box, so a little 1-2s here and there. 99, 92 heading accuracy and 90 jumping with 84 strength is very, very handy. So he can do a, a, a lot of things, he's very good in the air, he's a good finisher and he's good at short passing. Uh, we'll go into the four assists I got with him now. All very, very sort of simple passes, but le lesser, lesser passing stat could quite easily fuck him up. Excuse my language. So I'm quite happy with that. I think it's quite useful to have a player, if you're going to play with someone like Timo Werner up front, then having someone that can also feed him and score goals alongside him was very, very handy. He doesn't have to do anything amazing with his passes, but he still, you know, it has to sort of still make the pass and it's quite easy to, to, to get to get him wrong. So very, very underrated stat, I think, for this sort of striker. The fact that he's six foot four as well, if you were, and good strength, if you were to hold players off with him, be very, very useful. Talking of his height, as I say, his hold-up play was very, very good. But his heading accuracy or, and, and his jumping with that big frame is 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 outstanding. Really, he didn't really, very rarely lost a header. Here he is now beating. I know it's a it's an out of stamina Nesta, but it is you know Alessandro Nesta, the great Alessandro Nesta that he wins. He also score headers with that 92 heading accuracy. Obviously, towering above Andy Robertson at the far stick there to head that home. His heading and jumping. I've been trying to cross more because I think whenever I do a striker review, and you know, those of you who have watched it before, you probably agree. I don't really cross it much, so I don't really, I can't really give a fair heading assessment. And I think that's part of most strikers' games. That's a great header there in the far, in the, in the near post. I think it gives a more fair assessment of their all-round ability. This is my favourite header. I think that's a great header at the far stick. Nodding it down, the, back, back the way it came, I was very, very pleased with it. So I'm trying to do that, and with Paulson, it was very, very easy for him to win headers. Here he is challenging the goalkeeper, beating him. Not sure it should really happen. I'd be fuming if I conceded it. But very, very good header for him nonetheless, and I can't stress highly enough how important and how, how good I found it, to be fair. Going into his 89 finishing is the last thing I'm going to review of him today. It was it was it was key. His movement was was top there. He was just peeling off to the far stick for a, for a, for a sweat, and I'm going to do that all day. if I get the chance. I'm doing it 100%. No questions asked. Penalties again. I thought th I anyone could really score a penalty. You could score a penalty with like I don't know anyone really. Johnny Evans. He'll score a pen for you on this game if you're good enough. Again, one one on one here across the keeper. Far stick. Gets a hand to it, but I think the power and just the actually the shot takes it past him. There he is again, just bouncing off a pass to uh, to Roberto Baggio there. Then his movement to make that run in behind the defender there, he switches off and just rolls it into the far corner. I really enjoyed his finishing, and it, for me, it felt very, very good. I don't think that I would really be asked if he had 89 finishing or 95. He pretty much scored everything that he had the chance to score anyway. So. You know, 10, uh, 12 goals in 10 games isn't an outstanding record, but when you're playing up front with another player like Timo Werner, to get the amount of goals you... The, you know, I found it really easy to create with him. So getting the amount of goals that he did, sharing them, I thought I thought, I thought, think is a good return. And I was very, very happy with the way this this card played with his finishing. I couldn't really ask for more, to be fair. Uh, hopefully, if he does get a team of the season, don't know, but... I would love it if he did. I found this card an absolute joy to play with. He's got everything you need in the striker. He's he's fairly quick. He's got a great finisher, good in the air, can pass a ball. And I'd say, why not? Give him a go. There aren't many better options or many better strikers in the Bundesliga than than this third in form, Paulson. I've used most of them, and I found this one probably the one of the best. I've, uh, well, the one of the best strikers I've used in the game period, let alone in the Bundesliga. I feel that he can do everything. So, going to the final review, I'm going to give him five star. I think I can't really sing his praises this highly and say that 
and say he's not five star. The one, the two things, the two weaknesses I put on there, the cons that you you would have seen in the in the bottom right corner, and I'm being very very picky. The three star weak foot, I would like four if possible. You know, it'd, it'd be nice to have four. Is more reliable. I think it's the key. And high defensive work rates. Again, it could could be. It wasn't really a problem for me, but it could be a problem at times. You know, he was just dropping a bit too deep for my liking. But overall, fantastic card. Anyway, if you like this review, please like and subscribe to the channel for more like this one. Thank you for watching.